Next, we're going to work towards our pole climbs. So we're going to do some pole squats because I want to see proper pole climbs. You're going to come in front of your pole, square. You're going to take your right leg and you're going to wrap it in front of the pole. All right? Different angle. Right leg, wrap it in front of the pole. Once you've got your right leg at the pole, you're going to take your left leg and it's going to come behind. Okay, you're going to think about doing a curtsy. We're thinking curtsies with these pole squats. So again, different angle, right foot in front, left foot behind. It's kind of crisscrossed. You should be able to see your left knee when you're in proper positioning. Both knees are in front of the pole. So now you have both of your knees in front of the pole. We have proper positioning. We're going to do squats now. So you're going to think about sitting back. So we're going to do five each side. One, two, three, four, five. Does not really matter what your hands are doing for this one because we're trying to work out our lower body. You should not be feeling it in your arms. You should not be pulling yourself up. You should be using your legs and it feels like you're doing a really funky squat. So other side. When I say our other side for the pole climb, I mean if your right foot was in front, now you're gonna switch and your left foot's gonna be in front. Same form, left foot in front of the pole, right foot comes behind the pole. I should be able to let go here. If you can't let go of the pole here, you are not holding it correctly. Again, with the pole climb, we are holding here. We are not holding here. We're not holding here. We're not using our arms. We're using our legs with the power of our knees. One, two, three, four, five. The next step for your pole climb conditioning is going to be a single leg lift. So when we do our actual pole climb, it's going to look like this, eventually, right? To get you used to, we've already been conditioning a little bit towards this climb as with our pull ups, because we will be pulling up a little bit and with our pole squats, because we're going to be using our legs. So with a single leg lift, you're going to put your right shin on the pole. Proper positioning, right shin like this. The top of my ankle is touching the pole as well as the side of my knee, all right? Top of the ankle touching pole, inside of knee touching pole, proper positioning for a climb. So I've got my right leg up on the pole now. My right hand is just going to reach not high, it's just going to come about face height. Other hand is going to lift high and I'm going to squeeze that back glute. All right, again, right leg up, right hand grip, left hand grabs high, squeeze through the glute. Okay, we're going to do five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. I am feeling this in my legs and a little bit in my shoulders. So that's about it. So now we're going to do the other side. Left shin on pole. Inside of my knee is touching the pole. Knee in front of the pole. Top of my ankle is also gripping the pole. Left leg, left hand. Reach with the right. One, two, three, four, five. To improve our upper body strength and it's going to help out with our inverts and our pole climbs, all right? So you're gonna think about engaging those shoulders. So you're gonna have your shoulders away from your ear. If you're like this, you're not engaged. I want you to bring your shoulders away from your ear and you're just going to reach. You're not overextending. You're not coming down really low. You're literally just going to put your arms up, baseball grip, 
So hands are touching each other, completely wrapped around the pole. So we're gonna reach, making sure those shoulders are pulled down away from our ear, and we're going to think about grabbing this pole and pulling it down into a basement. Imagine there's a basement down below this pole. There is, but we're pretending here. So we're gonna grab, and we're going to lift for one. Down. Keeping, keeping shoulders away from our ears, and we're going to pull for one. It's okay if you're pushing a little bit with your feet on the ground. Uh, we all have to start somewhere, but I want you to try and focus mainly on using your upper body to pull you up the pole. So we're doing five on each side. So to do our other side, we're just gonna switch our hand positioning. So whatever hand was lower is gonna come up above. You're gonna do five more this way. So again, same technique, switching up your hands, keeping shoulders away from your ears, and we're pulling up for five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and down. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and happy training. Train fearlessly, you badass.